Hi everyone, today I will talk about uh, Canon vintage lenses. The first one is the famous 51.4 lens. This model is a type 2, as far as I found uh, uh, on the web, uh, look at the serial number. It's a well-reviewed well lens on the web, especially on normal uh, pictures. But uh, I was curious uh, about its performance on full spectrum and infrared pictures. One nice thing of these vintage lenses is the infrared mark you can see here in red that can help you focus when using infrared filters like the BMW 093 or any other infrared filters from 830 nanometers. About performance, you can see some samples uh, right now. I found uh, it's a sweet spot at around 5.6 of aperture, but uh, I think uh, overall all the performance uh, are quite good from starting from f2 to f8. At 1.4 is a little bit soft. Uh, and, so, and suffer of uh, diffraction and a little bit of flares, but can be good for uh, some portraits. Going uh, up uh, over uh, f11 to f22 doesn't help so much and suffer of uh, uh, some diffraction. And also, uh, this lens uh, soft, suffers from uh, hot spots. You can see now some samples of uh, at f. 11, F16, and F22. So, in my opinion, you can use it with, with very good uh, performance or very good quality image quality from F2 to F8. If you are lucky to find also its original filters, like this one, this one is uh, the original orange. Uh, they are very well made and uh, they lack the front thread, so they are very thin and very light. And since uh, this lens has a 48 mm thread for filters, uh, it's better to use very ori its original filters instead of some particular um, adapters. As dimension, the lens is uh, quite small. A little bit heavy but not so much. Here we go. As you can see in the, in the Fuji X-E3 is a very compact even if it's a 1.4 lens. Now let's talk about the half brother or little brother or the less famous brother of the 50. This lens has not much review around the web even if the image quality is very good, is the 25 f3.5, very compact lens. It's a type 2 also, looking at the serial number. It's very compact, very nice lens. It has also the um, infrared mark to help you focusing when, when you use infrared filters. There's just a little countersight or a little cons on this lens when you need to focus and set the aperture. The overall image quality is very good starting from the full aperture. It's just a tiny bit of softer, soft or maybe lack of contrast at the 3.5 but starting to f4 to F8 has its best image quality. Going up to 11 to 12 uh, can increase a little bit of diffraction. You can see some uh, uh, image samples right now. They are taken with orange, red and uh, infrared uh, filter like the 093 uh, from BMW. Um, as a hotspot, I didn't find any, 
even at the f22 so it's a very very good lens for infrared pictures and is a, an easy picture to carry around here we go as you can see is very small very compact very lightweight and also the 25 millimeter is a very good focal length for the APS-C sensors so at the end um, they have both very good image quality and uh, if you want to see um, uh, the previous samples at a higher quality uh, go to my Flickr profile and uh, follow me on Instagram and subscribe here if you enjoyed this video see you next time bye bye